Well, ReZero Season 2 will be out in two days from now, or tomorrow, depending on how long this takes me to edit, so I thought it'd be a good time to take a look back and talk about some of my favorite characters from the show. This video will not contain any Season 2 spoilers, and please do not post any Season 2 spoilers in the comments, as I have not seen it yet, and would rather experience that for me firsthand. Also, this list is my personal preferences, so you may and probably will disagree. But that's fine. Let me know what your favorite characters are. I'm curious to see like how different people feel about this. All right, starting off the list at number 10, we have Otto. Otto is one of the characters that we don't get a whole lot about, but he's just one that I really like. He's thrown completely in over his head when Subaru is having him like charge into the area being attacked by the white whale and he and then the battles with Battle Geese and all that. I feel sorry for Otto and everything he's going through. Plus I like how he brings some interesting things to the table, like his ability to communicate with animals and like know the best path and all that. At least I think that was him. By the way, I'm not scripting this video, so that's why it's going to be more random topics than normal. Next, at number 9, we have Felix. Felix is another character that I just like because I like him. There isn't a whole lot of depth to the reason for him. But I like him. He's like a supportive character to Cruz and all that. Helps Subaru out. But he's also not afraid to oppose Subaru when it's like in his best interest or when he feels it's Cruz's best interest. Plus, I gotta admit, I like cats and I have a soft spot for traps. So there you go. Felix gets a spot on my list. Number eight is Ram, the sister that everyone uh, forgets about for now. And she is an interesting character on her own, though. Plus, I kind of like that she's not the like perfect character that Rem is. Don't get me wrong, I love Rem. Well, I'll talk more about her later. But Ram being more standoffish adds more variety to it, and I feel like there's a lot of nuance with her that was and can be explored later on in the future. So yeah, uh, also a great character. Then at number seven is Wilhelm, the swordsman who is awesome and does lots of cool things. What more is there to say about him? I really found him to be an impressive character, because at first he seemed to like kind of be in the background there to like fill out uh, the rest of the story, but once we got to see him understand his backstory and his history with the whale, that, t that showed me the type of story that ReZero is. He could easily be the main character of his own story, and I think the light novel or web novel author did a story about him as a focus, and I, that would feel perfect with the greater context of ReZero. And I like how that arc gave him so much time to shine, to do cool things, and just like tie that into the overall story and world of ReZero. It's always great when you have an old man destroy things with a sword. It's just fun to watch. Then at number six, we have Beatrice. A character where we don't know much about her, but she's just so much fun. I like how she's kind of like annoyed by Subaru and how he just keeps popping up, but she does kind of care about him. Sort of. They actually remind me of like a brother and sister type relationship. Where it's like, you really annoy me? Why are you here? But yeah, don't get yourself killed. I care about you a little bit. Yeah, she, she's great. And I want to see her do more cool things as well. Then at number five is Amelia, the main female character in Subaru's love interest because everyone loves Amelia. And Amelia is very interesting as well. She is a character that has a lot going on that we don't see, or at least we don't fully understand. Especially if you see the OVA with her frozen bonds, I think it was, in everything that she went through there, how she's been discriminated against, how she wants to help people, but she really doesn't exactly know how to handle it and then she has Subaru come into her life and she has no idea how to deal with someone like Subaru I don't think anyone knows how to deal with Subaru but I like the type of person she is how she cares so much but also has a lot she's dealing with so yes very interesting character and Amelia is great number four is Petal Geese the insane uh, Archbishop of Sloth I feel like insane is really the only way I can describe him because he is completely nuts and that makes him a great villain. It's hard to like take a villain and like just have a character be such an extreme personality. And like I love every piece of dialogue he has. The voice actors for him were amazing too, and how they brought forth such insanity. That's how you make a fun villain, and he was very fun. Very fun to also see him finally be taken down. Then at number three, we have Puck. Remember before how I said I like cats? Well, he's like a floating cat, so I have to like Puck. Puck's cool. Plus, I like his relationship with Amelia, too, and how much of a protector he is for her, as we saw in Frozen Bonds, at least to a degree. There's a lot we also don't know about him. 
Actually, there's a lot we don't know about all these characters. Except maybe Wilhelm and Rem, who we'll get to next. But yes, Puck is great. I want to see more of him. He's like fun to watch. He is enjoyable to see him overpower unexpected enemies. And he's fluffy, so I want to see more scenes of Super petting him. I hope we get some of that in Season 2. Then at number 2 is Rem. Come on, it's Rem. How can you not like her? I feel like... The only reason you would not like Rem is if you like Amelia a lot, and therefore you have to hate Rem because, like, Super can only pick one of them. Though he's the main character, he can have his own hair, I and mean, that will work out that way. But yes, Rem is great. I definitely have a soft spot for these type of characters who are just made to be so likable, so much you want to get attached to them. It happens to me in lots of other anime and games, and, like, Rem is the perfect example of this character. Someone who is kind, supportive of Subaru. But you also see that her kindness can be her weakness. But at the same time, her weakness is what gives Subaru his strength. So that's just great. Rem is great. I'm not going to say anything more there. And of course, at number one is the main character, Subaru. Subaru is what makes ReZero ReZero. He is reckless. He rushes into things. He has no idea what he is doing. But that doesn't stop him. But I also like how we see his failures. His desire to rush in and save the day leads to disaster on more than a few occasions. So he should take the time, take a step back and learn that he cannot do everything himself. But he can do something. And he's in a unique place where he can't leverage what he can do for good. And for the good of those around him. So yeah, Subaru is great. He's like everything I love about the main character. Twisted to be more realistic while still keeping the inspiring hero who will save the day. So Subaru is great. And that is my list of my top 10 ReZero characters. Thank you for watching. And of course, please leave your comments down below of who your favorites are. But as always, do not uh, put spoilers in there for Season 2. I really want to avoid those spoilers. We'll see how successful I am. Join me when Season 2 comes out, as I will definitely be making some videos to talk about it. So I will talk to you then.